My man Ezra flying without a net so that he could order himself a... Ice cream, please. <laughs> who first told me my son was autistic. Could have saved us both a lot of time if he just said the truth. Autistic kids don't give up. You want me to put him in a special needs school? Jenna knows I'm broke. She knows you're still not over her. The man you're in shouldn't be living with his father. He led 20 kids onto Washington Street. Your son has been a danger to himself. He's not dangerous. He's a challenge. Nobody wants to do the work. It's 10.45. That means it's time for a little lights camera. McCarthy. And Kevin is out of the office again today, but that doesn't mean that he left us high and dry. <laughs> <laughs> because before he left, well, he got a chance to sit down with some of the stars of the new movie, Ezra. The movie uh, tells us the story of a divorced dad struggling to raise his son with autism and their life-changing cross-country road trip. Yeah, certainly a heartfelt film. Uh, Scandal's Tony Goldwyn, by the way, directed it and stars in the movie along alongside Oscar winner Robert De Niro and real-life couple Bobby Cannavale and Rose Byrne, who also talked to Kevin all about the movie and more. Take a look. I love the scene in the beginning when, when Ezra basically quotes Breaking Bad, and you guys are sitting there at the school, and he's like, yeah, we, we binged it last weekend. And I remember being a kid growing up, my mom and dad, I would watch certain things with my dad, certain things with my mom. You know, you, would, you wouldn't tell your mom or dad you watched certain things with the other. I was just curious, do you have a memory of watching something when you were growing up that you, you had to come almost like, it was like you weren't supposed to see it uh, at that age? Oh, yeah, my parents were divorced when I was really young, and... And we only had like Sunday afternoons with him. And I remember he took me to go see a double feature of The Elephant Man and Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. <laughs> it was so weird. But I loved it. I was like 10. And I was like, I, I loved the, uh, the elephant. I remember The Elephant Man starting and me being like, what's happening? It's black and white. I wasn't into it. And then, of course, they show him and you're like, I'm in. I'm in. What is this? Uh, and then Cheech and Chong was just hilarious. And. I remember thinking he was cool for that, and my mother wouldn't let me see him for a month after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do remember watching Grease, and I was really little, and Dad, my dad going, this is not appropriate, and turning it off. But they were really strict with the TV, like we didn't really get to watch any TV, so, but yeah, I remember he got kind of cross about that, okay. so we turned it off. I want to ask this because I find this interesting. Your both of your bodies of work are incredible. I mean, if you looked at your filmographies, each of you have so much work that you've done over the years. Do you have a favorite role of each other's? The role that means that <laughs> Bobby, your favorite role of Roses and Rose, your favorite role of Bobby's. Well, I saw Bobby in an extraordinary play before we were together called uh, I can't say it with the hat that he did on Broadway, and he was nominated for a Tony, and he was extraordinary in this play. Uh, it was with him and Chris Rock and Elizabeth Rodriguez and Yul Vazquez and Annabella Sciorra, and anyway, I'll never forget it. It was unbelievable, oh, thanks, yeah. Stephen uh, Gurney's play. Uh, yeah, um, Rose is, oh, she's, she's so good in so many things. I mean, she's got this great movie called Two Hands, when she's, <laughs> You're amazing in that movie. It's a great movie with Heath Ledger and Brian Brown, and it's a great, great, great movie. Now, Two Hands is a very popular, like, cafe now in here in New York, but it's owned by an Australian, and it's and it's named after this movie. It's a pretty iconic movie in Australia. Great. Yeah, you know it is. It really is. It's great. Gregor Jordan directed it. It's great. <laughs> I like that one. I think she's pretty great in, bre in Bridesmaids. Br Bridesmaids. <laughs> and she's pretty good in Neighbors. Neighbors makes me laugh. Neighbors really crushes me. <laughs> I, I, how many times have we watched? I watched Neighbors so many times. I, I would, like, I was, like, bribing all my poker friends to, like, go and see the movie. I mean, I, I'm responsible for a lot of that box office, frankly. <laughs> I think she's extraordinarily funny because Seth Rogen is, is, is he's like a comedy super heavyweight and she crushes yeah. in those scenes with him. Hey, we were just talking about that, we about that Neighbors and Bridesmaids, two of my favorites. Uh, but Ezra may become one of yours. Just a reminder that Ezra is in the theaters right now. So, yeah, another great interview by Kev. Also, Bridesmaids was amazing. Mickey and I were just talking about how we can't remember her for anything else but Bridesmaids. But Neighbors oh is God. also a good one, too. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely a different pace, though, from the Bridesmaids, for I can sure. tell, and Neighbors. Well,